hot dogs today. The ultimate hot dogs. Now, there's actually a story behind this because Terry used to own a hot dog cart. And she would go out and she would sell hot dogs. That was kind of her first attempt at uh, My, opening a, her, a restaurant, or at least testing the waters to actually open remember, her own restaurant. Actually, I wanted a food truck. She wanted a food truck, I said. Okay, <laughs> tell you what, let's start smaller. Let's go with the, uh, with the hot dog cart. And what ended up happening was she just got, well, aside from it being 110 degrees out uh, where we live in Arizona, she got inundated with licenses and fees and inspections and regulations and permits and you name it yeah. and uh, it just really turned her off from it, it you know for a simple hot dog cart yeah. but she got good at making hot dogs so today she's made the ultimate hot dog and i can't wait to taste it it's kind of an all-american theme today yes. right is that what we yeah. were thinking hot yeah so we go with the, with the flag and all of that popcorn. some pop that's right like movie food baseball food you know football games all that that we got coming up here all. so this yummy so. hot dog i did bend on a white bun okay and are we just gonna dig in now one. and i'm gonna tell you now what, what well before we dig in here terry tell us what we so have we started here. off with this big huge nathan's hot dog and then um, I did a veggie chili on mine. He, his has chicken chili. Mm -hmm. And then we did with some mac and cheese, some chopped tomatoes, <laughs> some onions. And then I did um, like a celery, paprika, salt. You, normally people put relish on it. I, we went without, but. Nice. Nice. Again. All right. And then if you want some pickles, we've got some pickles right here. You know, and I just don't, some I don't think relish. I've got, you got mac and cheese on there, but I don't think I've got quite enough cheese okay you and can look, never if you have wanna, ben, we did enough. some chilies for oh, of course you damn like. right i will i will take that John. Are okay you gonna we dig go. in or are we i'm gonna dig in and we decided to be classy we went with a martini i think i'm gonna sip the martini first so i did a ginger soda and vodka martini and i did strips of sweetened ginger and i put jalapenos in and Ben's is a dirty martini. <laughs> of course. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, baby. Happy Wednesday. Okay. I know. All right. Mm. Oh. Ooh, interesting. Perfect. Ooh, try this. Mm. It's kind Perfect. of spicy, kid. Okay. Try okay. It, try it before your hot dog. All right. Because ginger spicy it's, and it's waiting. Hot dog. It's waiting for me, right? Try, try that first. Okay. That's nice. That's got kind of a clean taste and to a it. Little What's kick. in there? Um, I made it with ginger and then the jalapeno. Wow. And it's a vodka martini with ginger. It's simple. Mm. I did ginger soda, the vodka. Mm. Floated the ginger soda. It tastes almost like there might be like cucumber in there or something. You know, like it's got that kind of cucumber when you add cucumber to to a drink and it's just yeah. like gives it that fresh clean. I really like it. Except like it's it. the jalapeno. That's got I like a like spicy it. kick. Yum, I yum, like yum. it. Okay. okay. Can we dig in, Terry? Yes. Right on. <laughs> uh, look at the size of that thing. Mm. 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 There's some mm. salty. Mm. <laughs> I didn't get a bite of the mac and cheese mm. yet. <laughs> I got sweet, sour, salty. Mm. Let's see. Okay. That dog is amazing. Okay. Mm. Like the, the meat flavor actually comes through. You got the crunchy bacon in there. <laughs> I mean, you got actually nice, crispy, crunchy bacon in there. The chili is perfect. I mean, you can, it's got some spice and some kick to it. Hmm. Um, it makes your mouth burn. And it's not just a hot dog bun. This is like a roll, and it's like nice and chewy, and of course, cheesy, and, and uh, the onion, and the, everything is mm -hmm. uh, just bomb. This is the way a dog should be. Right here. Oh. Mm. Mm. Food's going everywhere. Mm. I'm going to make a mess. Mm. I, I don't even uh, care. Mm -hmm. Woo. Mm. I put um, some smoked paprika on my popcorn, and I, it also has some kettle corn. So that goes great. Now, what was the thought with the martinis with the... Uh, yeah. With the dogs, right? Well, all American. Just made it a little classier. 
That's Terry. She brings class. She, she will hang earrings on a pig. And that's okay. what this is kind of like. And right? then for our local brew, mm. I decided to do Barrio Rojo. Okay. A red ale. And they're out of Tucson. Tucson, Arizona. Fill her up. Woo! Hell uh -oh. yeah. Beto. Mm. Mm. I even have <laughs> a Barrio glass for it. Mm. Mm. Should we mm. share it or do you want me to put some in your... I'm going to stop Mine. You had me your glass. Okay. Oh, here. Here, let me hold your hot dog. <laughs> it's <laughs> so my, full. Hold it's my heavy. hot dog a second. <laughs> mm. So yeah. Barrio is in Tucson, Arizona. Right on. It's Cheers. local here in Arizona. Mm. 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 <sighs> oh, that spicy that, dog. Oh, that. That is that really got like kind of a malty like a really good balance between the malt and the hops. Usually I like hop beer beers, but this has got some darkness to it, you know? Kind of more that malty taste. Oh, that's really, really yeah, good. Yeah, it's the Barrio Rojo mm. in a red can. So you, like Rojo means red. Oh. So it's a red ale. It's good, it goes great with a chili dog. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. The all American uh -huh. food. Oh, um, so the first hot dog ever was brought in 1860, a German immigrant sold it uh, in New York in a little hot dog stand. And then, uh, you know how they have Coney Island dogs? Mm -hmm. A man named Charles Feltman opened up his first hot dog stand in Coney <laughs> Island and expanded on it. And you know, I would have thought it would have started like over in Europe. Well, they brought know? the sausages. So, mm. so it was okay. called like a Dosh Han sausage or something like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. I love a good dry martini. Now, what goes into this martini, Terry? Just so you know, because I love a good Yours martini. Yours is dirty. Yours is awesome. Terry is a bartender, so she knows her stuff with these drinks. Tell us the simple so recipe. So a dirty of martini a, a is good martini. you just shake up some vodka. You know, start off with a bunch of ice, shake up some vodka, some olive juice, and you can even do like a little bit of, stir a little bit of vermouth in the glass, throw it out. Not everybody likes the vermouth in there. And then you add some olives to it, and you just have to get it just right. The ingredient, you know, the parts. You, you know? gotta have the feel. Yeah. You gotta know, you know. <laughs> yes, I'll take a martini, shaken, not stirred, and a hot dog. <laughs> Boiled, not grilled. Trader Joe's um, and um, Sprouts has these candied gingers. Oh. So I did the vodka, a little bit of ginger soda. Mm. And then I floated the ginger in there and then jalapenos, which I'm not going to bite into it, but it's giving it a good kick. If you don't have put mac and cheese on your dog, you don't know what you're missing. It brings so much to it. I've never had it this way. This was Terry's idea, put some mac and cheese. I want to announce that I will be putting out uh, a new episode to a new show that is the Midnight American. Now, it's actually from an old show, but... I'm reviving it. And so the first episode is coming out this week. And it's going to be an add-on to what we're doing here. The food show is going to continue through the rest of 2020. But I'm going to be starting a new episode too. So I'm going to be very busy. We really do appreciate you guys being a part of, of these meals and, this episode, and these shows. It's been just so awesome. So, okay, cool. Cheers, Terry. And cheers to you guys. We'll see you next week.